Hi everyone, welcome to IIT Mathematics Founders IMF channel. So I am Ross Shaker, working as SA Mathematics in ZPHS Chintakunda, Karnal District. Today I am going to explain about the derivation of Heron's formula for the calculating the area of the triangle when given length of its uh, three sides. So, Heron of Alexandria was an ancient Greek mathematician and also an engineer. He lived between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD. According to Heron, we can calculate the area of any triangle whether it is scalene, isosceles or equilateral when given three sides of that uh, triangle by using that formula. Suppose in triangle ABC suppose in this triangle ABC let length of three sides A, B and C. So here area of this triangle is given by under root s into s minus a s minus b s minus c square units so we know that s is a semi perimeter or half of the perimeter so now s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2 right so we can we can derive the heron's formula by two different methods so let us see first one by algebraic method second one by using by using cosine rule so in in this first method so with the help of pythagoras theorem we can derive the heron's formula in this second method, with the help of trigonometric identities, we can derive Heron's formula. So, let us see both groups one by one. Let us derive first method, algebraic method, by using Pythagoras theorem. Suppose, triangle ABC with sides A, B and C respectively. So, draw a perpendicular AD on BC. Let it be H A nodes. For our convenience, take length of BD is X A nodes. So that length of DC becomes A minus X units. A minus X units. So we know that basic formula area of the triangle is equal to half into base into its corresponding height. So corresponding height is nothing but H square A units. So now we can find H value by using Pythagoras theorem. Consider triangle ADB. Consider triangle ADB. So here H square is equal to C square minus hypotenuse square minus X square. Let it be equation 1. Now consider triangle ADC. Consider triangle ADC. So, from this, so h square is equal to hypotenuse square b square minus of a minus x whole square. Let it be equation 2. So, from these two equations, so equating RHS means from equation 1 and equation 2. Equating RHS means C square minus X square is equal to B square minus A minus X whole square. 
Now, expanding this a minus x whole square by using algebraic identity. So, c square minus x square is equal to b square minus. So, here a square minus x square plus 2ax. Okay. So, observe here both sides minus x square term will be cancelled. Now, taking these two terms left side we get c square plus a square minus b square. So, again taking 2a left side by 2a, so we get a x value. So, now substituting x value in equation 1, so we get h square, h square is equal to c square minus, so what is x value? So, a square plus c square minus b square by 2a whole square. Okay, now denominator is 2a whole square. So, 2a whole square. 2a whole square into c square. We can write 2ac whole square minus of a square plus c square minus b square whole square. So, now here applying one of the algebraic identity a square minus b square. So, after resolving two factors we get 2ac plus a square plus c square minus b square into 2ac minus a square minus c square plus b square divided by 2a whole square is nothing but 4a square. So next one we can write a square plus c square plus 2ac is nothing but a plus c whole square minus b square into here b square minus minus is taking as common so we get a minus c whole square divided by 4 a square so this is h square value now again expanding this to a square minus b square so so what you get so here h square is equal to so, a plus b, b is nothing but a plus c plus b into a plus c minus b. So, here b plus a minus c into b plus a b minus a plus c divided by, so we get 4 a square. Okay. So, we know that perimeter of triangle ABC, a plus b plus c is nothing but 2s. So, substituting here 2s into a plus c means a plus b plus c is 2s. a plus c means 2s minus b. So, 2s minus b minus b is nothing but 2s minus 2b. So, similarly 2s minus 2c 2s minus 2a by so 4a square that is equal to here 2 is common, here also 2 is common, 2 is common. So, finally we get 2 into 2, 4 into 2, 8 into 2, 16 divided by 4a square and into, so s minus s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Okay, now cancellation 4 ones, 4 fours. So, h square is equal to 4 by a square s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Now, we get h is equal to 2 by a under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. So, here we get h value. So, we know that area of the triangle. So, area of area of triangle ABC of into base into H. So, of into A into here perpendicular height we get H value substitute here. So, 2 by A under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Okay, now cancellation 2 2 will be cancelled A will be cancelled finally we get so, S into S minus A, S minus B into 
S minus C. So this is area of triangle. Okay, this is formula for area of the triangle. So like this way, we can derive area of this triangle. Let us know how to derive Heron's formula by using cosine rule. So suppose in triangle ABC, let a, B and C are length of three sides. So here draw a perpendicular line AD, let it be H on BC. So here area of this triangle ABC is off into base into corresponding height. So here off into base into now what is H value? From triangle ADC, sin C is equal to H by B. So here, sin C is equal to H by B. So from this, we get H is equal to B sin C. So H is B sin C square root. So this is a formula for finding area of the triangle. Now here, we can find sin C value in terms of A, B and C. So with the help of cosine rule, let us see. Now cosine rule is cos c is equal to a square plus b square minus c square by 2ab. So with the, with the help of trigonometric identity, so you know that sin square c plus cos square c is equal to 1. So from that sin square c is equal to 1 minus cos square c means 1 minus. So this is cos c value a square plus b square minus c square by so 2ab whole square. So here denominator is 2ab whole square. So 2ab numerator is 2ab whole square minus of a square plus b square minus c square whole square. Here applying algebraic identity a square minus b square means so a plus b 2ab plus a square plus b square minus c square into 2ab minus a square minus b square plus c square by 2ab whole square. So in next step we can write so here so that is equal to so this is a plus b whole square so a plus b whole square minus c square into so here c square minus is common means we get a minus b whole square by 2ab whole square. So therefore so that is equal to so again applying a square minus b square formula here we get so a plus b so a plus b into a minus b means we get a plus b plus c a plus b minus c and C plus A minus B into C minus A plus B divided by so 2AB whole square that is equal to so here this is uh, perimeter of triangle ABC means A plus B plus C means substituting here 2S into so A plus B means 2S minus C minus C means uh, we get 2S minus 2C into 2S minus 2B into c plus b means 2s minus 2a divided by so 2ab whole square so this is sin square c that is equal to so here 2 is common here also 2 is common 2 is common 2 into 2 4 into 2 8 into 2 16 so s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c by so 2 square means 4 so ab whole square 4 once 4 times will go 
so now this is sin square c value now sin c is equal to so 2 by ab under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so we get sin c value so we know that area of the triangle a is equal to of a b sin c so that is equal to of a b into sin c means substituting here 2 by a b under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so a b a b will be cancelled 2 will be cancelled so we get so s into s minus a s minus b s minus c square units so like this way we can prove we can derive heron's formula okay so today we had to derive the heron's formula by two different methods by algebraic method and by trigonometric method means by using cosine rule so i hope you are enjoying these two methods so i am very thankful to everyone for watching my videos please subscribe imf youtube channel for more videos so which are more informative innovative videos given by experts of this imf channel from various states thank you for, thank you very much